Hey guys, Boss here, and welcome back to another video. I uh, right now I decided I will do like a review on like the features that are coming in iOS 11. So let's look, let's look at some of them. So I don't actually know about them. I know one of them things is like well, there's a whole bunch of uh, automated reality, which is kind of cool. Um, and then there's also screen recording. So you won't have like try to find like screen recording apps on iOS. You'll just get you update to iOS 11, like you can just like press record and it'll record your screen. So I guess we'll just look. Yeah, screen capture it says there. Just read up on this. Apple TV. Don't show anything. Alright, I'm probably some screen recording. Alright, um, yes, I've heard of this. So, you'll be able to like switch between apps, like, like you would on like a computer, Windows or Mac, switch, switch between tabs, switch between monitors. Yeah, and I can have like different tabs open. Roblox cuts is not opening like I wanted to, but whatever. Um, never mind. Right, anyway, yeah, multitask. Oh yes, files app. Yeah, it is though. The iPad is becoming a computer. I think this is like, oh yeah, this is like a way better control center. Is this the Apple TV or what? Oh yeah, this is a way better control center. I love this. Wait, you can like offload unused apps? That is perfect for me because I have a whole, a whole bunch of apps that I don't use but I like use once in a while. I have to like download it again when I do one for like once in a year. Yeah, that'll really help me. Three translations. Yes, this is very helpful. Instead of going, opening up my phone, putting in my password, or putting in my touch ID. And then go into Google Translate and then type it all in. I can just say, Siri, translate hello to German. Désolé, je rencontre quelques. Why is she in French? Anyway, she doesn't really care right now, but it'll be cool when iOS 11. Um, I don't really use Apple Pay, so this doesn't really affect me, but this is pretty cool. How you can like tell Siri or just type in an iMessage and it will automatically use your uh, Apple Pay or credit card or debit card that's attached to your uh, iPhone wallet and it will send it to, to, the, to your friend or whatever. Is that it? Control Center. Screen Capture. Yeah. I'm gonna look some, some bit more. Hmm. Yes, this is this iPad looks way more like a Mac now. Files? Wow. Drag and drop. Wait, what? Oh my god. I don't have a personal iPad. I have an iPad that I share with family, but this will be cool. See, the iPad's still running iOS 9, and it's kind of an old iPad, so I don't know if we'll actually update to iOS 11. So I think a lot of features are coming to the iPad, but I'll definitely up update my phone to iOS 11. Over your instant notes on the lock screen. Wait, I 
It also changes iOS 11. Instant markup lets you draw in PDFs and photos. Instant notes let you jot things down ASAP right from the lock screen. Wow. All of your instant notes on the lock screen are saved in notes, so don't worry. In drawing on notes, your existing text cleverly now moves the text out of the way. Alright. Keypad shortcuts. That's cool. Wait, is it actually like changing the, key the keypad on the phone or whatever? Um, Apple files open up too many clouds. A message. Yes. Finally, because like for so long my odd messages was taken up like gigabytes and gigabytes, so I had to like delete all my messages. Yep. Did this. New app store. I kind of like that. Looks like they're adding a bit more. Cool. Lossless audio. What's lossless audio? This is cool. Three is smarter. Play something I like. That's cool. I like how they have this now, too. This little rainbow thingy. Is that like that rainbow line thingy? You guys control center. Yeah, look at that. I like this. Anyway, okay, guys, it's a bonus for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace out.